off of a misshot or turtled up guy. And it is completely the opposite of what in your brain you're gonna tell yourself that you should be doing. Especially given all of the uh, different guillotines that we've been doing over the last two weeks, right? So the guy takes a, a bad shot off me, whatever, he takes a shot, boom, he misses, I sprawl. Guys, come here. You see this hole right here? My knee's going in that hole. My arm goes in here, my knee goes in there, and then my top foot goes over the top. I sprawl, I step around, and I do that. You guys see it? With that arm in guillotine, this is called, the further away you are from him, the better chance you have of finishing it. You see it? Again, let me show you. Up. Here we are. Maybe he takes a weak shot. Maybe I snap him down. Boom. He always winds up like this. I step around and I reach for his, his neck underneath. Boom. See it? There. You see this? My chin stays up. My butt is out. And then I do our favorite what? Crunch. Crunch. See it? Yes, sir. Let's try the beginning, and then we'll break down the details. One, two, three. Again, from a missed shot, or if the guy's turtled up. So he's turtled up, and we're gonna do that wrestling thing, that, that T-Rex armpit thing, right? We're here, we go over the top of the guy, we pull him out, boom. That gives us the space we need. Our hands go in here, and when our hand goes over the top there, our other hand goes underneath and we're looking for a traditional guillotine grip like this. This is not looking for a carotid artery. It's not looking for the Adam's apple. This is an air choke. He's gonna suffocate. Now, if you get your arm across, you can get your forearm across his, his carotid, that's great, that's the bonus, you know? But this is an <laughs> air choke. It immediately cuts the guy's air off because it folds his esophagus in there. <laughs> it goes like that. Now, if a guy doesn't panic, and he realizes, I can't breathe, but I'll be okay for a minute, you're gonna have to throw him over the top and go to something else, but let's not, let's not get a far ahead of him. Let's not bury the lead, as they say. So we're here, I pull the guy out, I make my space, I run, boom, here. You guys see what I'm doing here? Okay? I'm having, get the head out. Oh yeah, get up. See him like this. I'm grabbing this. My chin stays high. Super important. Some of you guys are going like this. Don't do that. That's not gonna get the submission. Not often you got a guy with a heart. You're up and you're crunching and you're folding everything in half. You wanna see it? It's okay. Here, crawl out. I push the arm. You see it? I'm literally lifting him up off the ground because I'm crunching so hard. When I grab his head, I don't want it to be here. He's gonna reach up and pop his head out. I wanna be here, I want my chin up here. No chance of popping his head out and he knows it. Right? My arm's underneath. Grabbing the meaty part of my hand. My knee inside, hooking his hip, my other foot over the top, chin high. And then I crunch. And what that does, it folds him up like this. Right? <clears throat> you wanna see it? You need it. I'll see it one time. Okay. Come here, Chris. And we're here. We're in the middle of a sprawl. Let's say a lot of times, I tell you where this comes from in a good place, the guy gets up that single. He's here on the single and you sprawl out of it. And all of a sudden you got all that space. So you go, boom. Guys have the toughest core strength. 
I mean, if you really want to develop a really good guillotine from that core strength, grab a 25 or a 45 plate and do these things. Ugh. Give you sick core strength. Ready to try it? One, two, three. Let's a quick look at the, the, the last detail and then what if it doesn't work? Because, I mean, we have to understand that not every submission is working against every guy. And not every guy is, worth, is, is gonna work every submission. Please understand that. That's just not logical jujitsu. If that was the case, this would be karate. We don't be going, huh, huh. We're not. Jujitsu is based upon your body. The whole thing is your body structure. Some guys have a good leg game. Some guys have a good top game. Some guys develop a good bottom game because they have really strong legs to keep their guard. Everybody's jujitsu game is different. That's what makes jujitsu jujitsu. So let's say I, I got this guy here. Uh, you know what? First, let's look over the last detail, which is, is, is one of the most important. He's got the single. I break out of the single. I go cross face. I snap my leg out. And here I am. And this is where we are a lot of times when we snap off that single. You know, we, uh, we defeat that single. Hand goes in. Knee goes in. And we're here. Guys, look at my butt. My butt is facing out. The more my butt is underneath him, the less angle torque I get. The more my butt's facing away from him, the more I'm able to tuck his face straight down. Every time I go under him a little bit, his head straightens more and more and more. The less torque I'm getting and the, the more air he's getting. An arm and guillotine just won't work from full guard, from closed guard. Just like a regular guillotine won't work with your butt outside unless you got a closed guard. You guys know what I'm saying? So again, last detail on the finish of this thing. You got this here, you jump in, butt out, get your butt out, kick him away, and then break it. <coughs> yeah. All right, so now let's say you are here and you got this guy and you're like, man, I'm getting tired. He's about to pop his head out. No problem. Butterfly. Finish your darts. Worst comes to worst, just finish on top. And go here. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that last thing to do, guy don't tap, guy in the bottom don't tap, guy on top, butterfly hook him, throw him over, switch to your darts on top, okay? One, two, three.